Hello? It's me, Zoa. And today, I'm not going to be talking about artifacts so much as theories to do with, of all things, SpongeBob SquarePants. I've been looking at a lot of these theories from here, right? Like the alien death cult for Goofy Goobas is based on Heaven's Gate, which, as you can see by this, it's a, well, a Ouija board is actually a type of Stargate. And people, like the death cults, think you have to kill yourself to get the time-space continuum, when, if you read the Bible, no flesh would be saved if it wasn't for Jesus. We are supposed to go through these things physically. So you're not meant to die to get there. And the Goofy Gooba death cult makes a lot of sense. As does, well, inside the mind of Spongebob, there is a one that suggests that Spongebob is a psychopath. Mrs. Puff, well, she ties into what I'm going to talk about with this, actually. And yeah, I'd say her dark past, I feel bad for her. I'd say she's more than learned her lesson, considering how much she suffers from, like, PTSD, due to what she's done in the past. I'd say she's longer learned her lesson and is unnecessarily suffering by having to, well, keep trying to have SpongeBob pass that boating exam. Now, speaking of a boating school, right? Here's one for you. This theory hasn't even been on here yet, so I'm adding it. Here's the theory. SpongeBob is still a kid, which explains why he acts the way he does. We see in a certain episode, I can't remember which one specifically, but if you watch these, and if you watch this video I'm doing as well, you'll probably be familiar with episodes because it's taken SpongeBob so long to pass sporting school. A lot of the adult fish you see walking around were in the boating school with SpongeBob, when SpongeBob is still the physical same physical age what he is now, like in terms of appearance. However, all them adult fish were kids with SpongeBob during that time. This is why SpongeBob acts the way he does. Because think of this as dog years and humans. A human is like SpongeBob, a dog is like the fish. A dog ages faster, matures faster than what the sponge does for human because humans, or sponges in this case, age slower. So it takes longer for SpongeBob to get out of his adolescence or child stage of life than what it did the fish and crustaceans like Mr. Krabs and Larry the Lobster. And as for Gary the Snail, I'm thinking a lot like the, transpon the transponder snail, a one piece but with cameras. But back to this, yeah. Uh, I would say that's quite, that explains quite plausibly why SpongeBob behaves like a kid and the rest of the adults we're kids with him. But because he's a sponge and the age is slower by what the fish do in the crustaceans. He's still a kid, yet because of his physical age, that's why he's able to have a house of his own and work because he's physically met the age requirement. However, he's actually still a kid in sponges. And as for his insanity, maybe that's... I think he could actually have a mental illness as well. It does make sense. Like Patrick fragmenting himself by horcruxing himself by, because obviously he's a sea star. You cut off one one of the arms, it will grow a whole new star and the original star will grow a new leg, as we saw in the other theories. But SpongeBob is different. He is actually still a kid. Patrick is actually an adult. He's fragmented his own mind so much, his own personalities, by physically fragmenting himself, like creating identical twins, 
or clones in this case, but it's splitting up his personality across each of them clones and iterations. Uh, yeah, that's my main, that's what I wanted to talk about today. A little bit different from my usual videos about everything else. I mean, you only, I mean, there's simple ways of thinking about things and there's a longer way. Sometimes both come into play. But for me, I think this one's a simple one. Spongebob's still a kid in any stretch of the imagination. He's only, say he's 18 years old, but he's still a kid. Mrs. Puff there could be 18 years old, but she's an adult. Because fish age faster than sponges. But Spongebob still is a kid mentally and spiritually and physically. It's just, he's only physically being there, say 18, yeah? It's like that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap that up here. I'm interested interested to see what you guys think about this. Thank you.